Let's write a C program to draw a pyramid of numbers, numbers from 0 to 9. If the user wants 20 row pyramid, this is the output given by our C program. Okay. We also have program to print this pyramid with stars as well as alphabets, link to which is present in the description section of this YouTube video. So please follow those links without fail. So let's get started with our C program. Let's start by taking couple of variables, num to store maximum number of rows, row to store the initial row that is the first row, number to print the numbers from zero. Okay. I'll ask the user to enter the maximum number of rows he or she wants for the pyramid. And store it inside the address of variable num. Okay, while the initial row that is first row is less than or equal to the maximum row entered by the user. I'll keep incrementing the value of row by one for each iteration of this while loop, selecting one row at a time. Okay, now I'll initialize a variable i to zero. I think we haven't declared it. Let me declare it first. Okay, so while this i is less than user entered number minus current selected row which is present inside the variable row. I'll increment the value of i here and simply print some space here. So here if user enters phi row phi minus 1 that is if the if it is first iteration row value is 1 so phi minus 1 is 4 0 to 4 uh, spaces will be printed for next iteration row will be 2 so 5 minus 2 is 3 3 spaces will be printed for the next iteration and so on so in the next while loop we will be actually printing the numbers so while i is less than 2 into row minus 1 i'll increment the value of i and print the number here I'll increment the variable that is number because we need to print from 0 to 9. So here row value is 1 for first iteration. So 2 into 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So 0 is less than 1. So first iteration executes for one time. So first number 0 will be printed. For second iteration row value will be 2. So 2 into 2 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. So 0 is less than 3 from 0 to 2 3 digits will be printed for next iteration for next iteration 5 digits will be printed and so on so here if number is 9 let's reinitialize the number to 0 back to 0 okay else if that number is not 9 yet so I'll simply increment the value that is num plus plus Okay, now let's uh, compile and execute this program. You won't be getting pyramid here, you will be getting output in linear fashion. So look at this 0 to 9 and again it repeats from 0 to 9. Look at the spacing between these things. Now let me arrange it in pyramid format. Let's execute and run the program. I'll give phi itself. So this is our pyramid of numbers from 0 to 9. Let me give 25 so it looks nice. Okay, so please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes, and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.